The quality of notes you take during user interviews hugely impacts the quality of research findings. But how do you ensure you take the right notes? Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to UX Tweaks channel. Today we will discuss how to take notes during qualitative user interviews. And we'll talk about some best practices that will help you optimize the note taking process. Ready? Let's dive right in. Note taking is a systematic recording of observations, user feedback, and other relevant information during user interviews. For effective note taking, the most important thing is to avoid writing notes as assumptions, summarizations, or ideas. Rather, focus on the facts and use verbatim as much as possible. In practice, this means avoiding statements like, the user was perplexed and couldn't find an open cart button. Instead, note down that the user spent 30 seconds looking for the open cart button. During UX interviews, it's always better to have multiple note takers. It helps prevent observer bias by incorporating diverse perspectives and collecting more notes during the study. Moreover, this way, the moderator can focus entirely on communicating with the participant without having to multitask. Another benefit of inviting team members lies in the fact that anybody can be a note taker with a bit of training. It's a standard practice to invite product managers, UX and UI designers, and even marketing professionals to be designated note takers. To train people, you can run a pilot test of your interview with them. Ask a colleague to take on the role of a participant and check whether instructions and the interview flow are clear to everybody. It helps greatly increase the empathy for the user among the teams and leads to better acceptance of research findings. To have an effective UX interview, you also have to prepare a note-taking guide, especially if you invite several note-takers. In the guide, mention the rules for taking down the notes, such as using verbatim, avoiding assumptions about participants' behavior, and so on. Include the questions you want to ask the participants and specific keywords you are focusing on. It's also important to describe how the interview will run. This way, note-takers can prepare in advance and there will be no confusion during the interview itself. Another important factor for effective note-taking is the tool you use. You can use a pen and some sticky notes, a Google spreadsheet, or a Miro board. However, if you want to optimize the research process and better organize your notes, we advise you to check whether your user interview tool has note-taking functionalities. For example, in UX Tweaks live interviews, both moderators and note-takers can take notes simultaneously during the interview. The benefit of such note-taking is that they are automatically time-stamped and can be edited and filtered both during and after the interview. The notes are also visible to all note-takers and it helps create healthy social pressure, which means note-takers are more invested in the process. After you have gathered all the notes, it's time to organize them. Start by time stamping the notes as it aids the analyzing data efficiently by linking specific comments to actions. Timestamps also enhance teamwork by keeping everyone on the same page and helping to navigate the recordings more easily. You can also make timestamps when you ask research questions or when the participant mentions a specific keyword. Then, you can also organize the notes according to the topics. If you are using a Miro or a Google spreadsheet, you can also use colors to prioritize the notes. This way, you can better visualize which user insights are a priority for the research. And UX Tweak, the notes you make are timestamped automatically. You and your team members can also make additional notes and add mentions in the recordings. And if you stamp the same note twice, UX Tweak will highlight the segment of the recordings between those stamps, which you can then export as a video clip. There we go. And remember, after each session, take a 15 minute break to jot down main takeaways and impressions. This will help you recall details and themes from the session during analysis later on. Like and subscribe to watch more videos on all things UX related. See you next time.